This tutorial is how to, to paint a tomato. Uh, it's kind of fun. I'm starting out with a uh, true burgundy. It's a deck, uh, folk art color. Um, it's different than berry wine. It's got a little more orange to it and less purple. So it's a good undercoat because this tomato is going to lean towards the orangier side rather than the pinker side. Now tomatoes come in all colors, so you can paint it whatever color you want. Now red, as I've said before, is not very opaque in the bottled acrylics, so you need to undercoat. And I'm going to kind of do this into the stroke pattern I would come back in with and try to get around the edges as neatly as possible and cover it well. And that's, oops, kind of there. There, our tomato is undercoated. We've done the undercoat of the true burgundy and folk art. Now I'm coming back in with tomato red. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cry undercoat or, you know, go over the undercoat with a secondary undercoat, I guess, because we're going to do our stroke work on top of this. I've got a glop. My paint must be getting old. It doesn't dry. Sometimes it gets those clumps in it, but you just take them out or leave them in for texture if you want. Okay. Got the edges as best I can. And it's filled in very well. We'll let that dry. Now I'm going to double load my brush with the True Burgundy and the Tomato Spice, just like I would double load at any other time. Dip one corner in one color and the other corner in the other and work it back and forth until it blends in well. And then I'm going to go along the outside edge here, trying to stay within the lines and that will kind of shadow it. Best I can. It's not always perfect, and sometimes I have to come back in and now let me see. I don't know if I want to do kind of like you're making those ribs on some of them, like what's that heirloom tomato? remember it right now. One of my favorites. But it has deep ridges instead of just being very round. Okay, there we'll make that look like the ridges. And if you want to fill in a little bit more with the tomato spice right here. Just gives it a little dimension. We're going to let that dry and come back in with um, some green and do the stem and little top thing that's usually on them and then we'll highlight. Now we're going to end a coat where we're going to put the green stem area and I'm going to with white and I'm using a number six flat brush. I'm just pressing and then pulling to a point doesn't have to be exact. I am. And then um, there will be a little stem pulled up from there. And I'll let that dry and then I'll come back and go over it with green. Again, I am undercoating with white because a, the bottle acrylics aren't uh, super opaque. And if you go over a dark color with them, they tend to be dull. So if you want a brightness to a color that you're putting on top of a dark color, <clears throat> then you need to undercoat with white. I've double loaded my number six flat brush with celery green and evergreen, which they're both Deco Art Americana colors. And I'm going to carefully go over the white here, press and lift to make Nice shape. 
and just go overlap them one at a time. I reload when I go away from the camera. And um, I need to go back over this one over here so it goes over the white. And I double check it to make sure I don't have any white showing. And it looks like there's a little bit here. So I'll go over that. And then I just pull up the stem. And I should pull it up from the center of that flower bud. That doesn't look right. So I'll pull it up from there. Much better. And there you have your tomato. Oh, I need one more highlight. One moment. We do the little spark of white. You don't have to do this. It's another one of those things that's optional. But it does give it a little spark. I'm working a little bit of white into my clean brush and I'm just going to give it a little touch there and there you have your little highlight.